I guess they're right. All good things must come to an end. I'm talking about the Bad Bunny Adidas Forum Buckle Low in its final colorway, the last form, officially in cloud white, clear onyx, and chalk white. Included in the box, you have the additional tongs you can snap on the front with Bad Bunny's logo. You get two sets of additional laces. Yes, they have that 3M detailing, one in this bright electric vault colorway and the other in more of this gray tone. You will receive a dust bag that's always appreciated, but more importantly, the buckle low itself. We saw teasers all throughout the year, but during the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, he debuted the official full look of the last form. On the float, you actually saw a graphic that read Un Verano Sin Ti, which translates to a summer without you in relation to his album. The official drop within the United States was December 10th at a retail price of $160. Now with the last form, it is very reminiscent of all of the other colorways. I really wish we could get more. We can, but you have the detailing on the back with the toggle there, more of this bungee cord. As you wrap around, you have suede leather to complete the upper of the shoe itself. Now we have the strap and you guys know that's one of the things that leads to the entire buckle form for the actual Bad Bunny pairs, but you can actually remove them with Velcro this time. Now I went true to size here, so I picked up a men's six. A standout for any Bad Bunny form, the double tongue, the top tongue will feature his logo of the eye, but if you actually pull back to the tongue behind that, you have the trefoil Adidas logo. And again, when it comes to the strap, I prefer to not have the strap present on a low. So I'll go ahead and remove that. But as you can see, you have the Adidas logo and I really love how they elevate the feel of this shoe. It's so plush from the leather insoles to all of the extra padding on the collar. And that signature tagline, yo visto así, I dress like this. To finish off this pair, the traditional form outsole, but you have the circular design with the actual bunny present in the outsole itself. An endless summer, that's the intention for this pair. And I know it may not be what you normally think of in terms of summer, but even in the cooler months, just keep summer on your mind. And just showing you guys here a few additional details on the laces. You will have Bad Bunny on those extra two sets or BB on the stock lace that comes in the shoe. You know, when it comes to the Bad Bunny form, we've come to the end of the road. It's bittersweet, but I'm so grateful to actually have the last form in the collection. If you appreciate a shoe that really offers a lot of padding around the collar and on the insole, this is one you will most certainly appreciate. It takes it to another level in terms of the comfort on a form, in my personal opinion. What's going on everybody, it's your girl TJ, back another video on Talks with TJ. And in the interest of time, because it is priceless for you as viewers, I'll actually have how I choose to rock this pair in an upcoming video. So just stay tuned for that, likely later today or more than likely maybe the next day following. But more importantly, I just wanted you guys to have an up close look at the Bad Bunny Form 84 Buckle Low. It's considered the last form. And so that's sad, not only for those of us who just just appreciate what he's done to the forum, but I'm sure for his fans across the globe who try to support him in any way that they can. I mean, he's taken off as a global sensation and I think that's amazing. Nothing but happy for him. And I think it says a lot as well how he's really stepped onto the scene for sneakers. Now, again, this is the last form, not his last collaboration. He's absolutely got things in the works with Adidas and we know the campus is on the way. So something really laid back it's classic, it's still neutral, but he tweaks things just enough where he takes them up a notch. And you guys can actually see uh, a side-by-side -side look here of a form I already have, and that's the ADV Low in the chalk and the white colorway. But then what it looks like in comparison to this Bad Bunny pair, and it's, it's you can see where they they stick and stay true to the adidas ethos in terms of the form but how he takes it up a notch and i love the extra padding the comfort the cushion when you look at the insoles for them i mean we get leather insoles and i i love that everything about this shoe just feels elevated it actually does feel luxe uh, when it comes to a form even though you already get great value for any form that you may have and if you know me or you've been around the channel 
you know that I love a good form. If you don't, then I'll go ahead and put some uh, links in the description box of me unboxing some of my favorite forms added to the collection. And there's actually a great article right now within the Confirmed app on uh, a collector who cuts the straps off of the 84 lows that he owns and I'm very, I might, I might do that. I might even cut them off one of the highs that I own. I just actually think sometimes the strap can get in the way and I think the lows look better without the strap. That's why I like the ADV so much. And you guys can see I, I took them off, but on foot, they're amazingly comfortable. So I'll go ahead and at least give you a look at that before we exit. An on foot look for you here. So in terms of sizing, in the back to school pair actually went up to a six and a half, but I'll be honest with you going true to size as I did here works perfectly. Even though you have the additional padding, it doesn't create an uncomfortable tightness in the shoe. It just gives you a more plush feel on foot for me. Now in general, an Adidas form low, it's more comfortable to me than a Nike dunk low. And this actually is more comfortable to me than a Nike SB Dunk Low. Yes, I said what I said. This is a very comfortable pair to have on foot. Now, granted, you'll only see me in Adidas Crew Socks here, but you can certainly rock these with wide leg pants, a more relaxed fit because it is a much chunkier silhouette for a form, or you can go skinnier. It just really depends on your preference, but play around. Now, my experience in shopping with Offspring, one big lesson I learned in 2022, go to uk retailers you know give them your business a little bit more whenever possible if it's not a region lock release where they can't ship to the us but if they can do your best to actually shop there because it it just opens up first off the probability that you'll get a shoe that you really want but it, again options are options and you need those when it comes to sneakers it's hunger kicks out here so offspring was a really smooth transaction uh they certainly arrived i think within that time frame they gave me of two to four business days they actually do box your shoes i know somebody said oh they're only going to ship them in a bag so there's actually the regular shoe box and then there's a really big offspring box and then they put that within plastic packaging so the shoe was still well protected within the actual box itself arrived swift fast and in a hurry and between offspring naked cph and i've had some really great experiences in 2022 i hope to continue that going into 2023 in terms of style shout out to victoria beckham if you guys are not aware her style really leans into menswear and it being more relaxed and oversized so yeah there's still a jerry uh aesthetic uh there but i just really love how she does it and it still stays very feminine so don't be surprised if you see more menswear um just more slacks and blazers I already do blazers now but more slacks more wide leg pants to just really lean into that a little bit more and just as a reminder right you should always love what you are wearing when you look in the mirror and same when when i get dressed i just gotta throw this out there there's not a zoom call on if this works for anybody else or not like if i love it that's all that matters i just like to share it with you guys whatever you love rock that don't worry about anyone's opinion and hopefully you enjoyed this video stay tuned again for how i choose to style these and as always act your age not your shoe size i might need to move this up the list of my top 10 for the year Peace.